Ugh, that was a close one. Are you all right, honey? Heh, <laughs> come on, Ashera. I've had more scrapes than this. But this is important. We need to get go to see me now. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Punk Rose Ames. That is why we are here in her chamber. I had to act as quickly as I could. We do not want that future becoming a thing for her. We have to act fast. I see her in her chair. Let's go and deliver the news. Miss Goddess Amy, if I may have a second of your time. Me and my girlfriend, Punk Rose Ames, just came from a possible future of yours that could happen if we don't stop what's been going on over the past few hours. Hi, it's been a while. <laughs> I know, no time for that, since I helped you last year with that fleet wave that almost destroyed your universe. Well, it's just as well that me and my girlfriend were visiting your universe again in the future just to have a nice, have a nice relaxing, uh, have a nice relaxing date. But then all of a sudden, Nozzo appeared. Yes, Nozzo, that variant that, don't ask me how I know how you know about that Nozzo variant. I've shown you in the past that I'm capable of finding out things because it is part of my job. But anyway, he's here, and he's already terrorizing your universe by means of a time travel device. He aims to time travel to various points in your universe to either change them or make a completely different outcome. We have to act fast. Ha! Ah, well, you couldn't have come at a better time. Ashera. It so happens, I've been preparing for this. The Cyber Sisters let me borrow their tech. And I've done some adjustments myself. I, please, ignore this, the, the makeup. Things have just happened while I've been preparing for the inevitable. Because I was wondering if Nozzle would actually strike. And you coming here confirms my fears. But as you can see, I have been preparing. Punk Rose Ames. Pleasantries. I remember what you did last year with, Sh with Shadow. <laughs> I hope you're... Um... I hope your date was nice before Nazo ruined it from the sounds of things. Anyway, no time for small talks. Ashera, where is he now? Hmm, <laughs> an Amy that's always prepared. That's why I lied to you, Goddess Amy. Well, if you're ready to defend your universe again, grab your husbands, because this ain't gonna be easy. Facing a Nozzle variant is one thing, but facing a Nozzle variant that has a time traveling device, he could time travel at any point during a fight. We must be vigilant. Now, I've got it here as I'm tracking him. He's in your past. The very first day that you and Tails made this universe. If he changes that outcome, none of this will exist. We must Head forth now. <laughs> Pleasantries aside, your highness. We have a universe to save. Because me and my boyfriend, it's kind of in a job description. <laughs> Take my hand. Glad to know that I still have you and your boyfriend here to help us from the outside, Punk Rose Ames. Because <laughs> in a way, you are another me. <laughs> All right. Chaos Control! <laughs> I don't... I don't understand. Am I seeing a first non-Mobian? What kind of a Chaos Space Void is this? Oh my... 
I'm sorry if I spoke to you, young one. <laughs> My guess is that you were in the higher levels of the void, and the hologram program sent you down here to me, so that I can help you become a better person. Well, young one, my name is Torio, and yes, I am a goat. Come, young one, there is much to show. Right on. Uh, okay, Scarlet. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yes, young one. Amazing, isn't it? Even in the void, we can have life. Though, <laughs> I wish Shadow would take myself in this place into reality, his reality, but he put us down here until he could find room for us. <laughs> but I'm Toriel, as I said before. I'm the caretaker of this place. But before I take you into my residence, young one, tell me, why do you think the hologram sent you down here to me? And you look like that Amy Rose hedgehog. Are you related to them? Look, I don't know how you can be so peaceful being trapped down here. I don't like it. But, yeah, I'm... I'm Scarlet. I'm their daughter. Now, I wasn't created the way you'd expect me to. I was created in a lab, in a tube. I have their DNA in me, but I'm going to be honest with you, Toriel. I was created to go against them. I despise them. Still do a little. But... That's not my purpose? Then what was it? Oh my, young one, that sounds horrible. An experiment created as a daughter. Well... Maybe, despite the fact that you despise your DNA parents, I guess you could say, maybe they're happy that you were created for them. I know it might have been a shock to them. They weren't expecting to see a daughter in front of them, let alone have to fight you from the sounds of it. But if I know that Amy Rose... She would be happy, and I think she cares for you. And maybe, if I can show you how precious life is down here, maybe you will leave Chaos Space a better person. Nah, I don't know, Toriel. I mean, this is all new to me. I was created for one purpose. To be a weapon. <sighs> to stop the invasion of a Nazo variant. Nazo. He is a very powerful being. And this Nazo variant... Well... Caused my creator... A lot of warfare. And she told me, Scarlet, you're the answer to the warfare. However, I was told to go against the people's DNA that flows through me. Am I feeling regret? I don't know. <sighs> C 
Come, young one. I promise you, I will show you how precious life is, and you can go back to your parents a better person. Though the hologram program told me that your parents are in trouble up there, this nozzle variant you just mentioned has actually started his invasion. I better do my best in getting you prepared. They might need your help. Come, young one, into my residence. So Nazo has started his invasion. <sighs> DNA parents, how prepared are you? Alright, Amy, here we are. Goddess Amy's universe. <laughs> Even though you're not a goddess yet, but I'm glad I could help. This is Green Hill, obviously, so now we just build from here. <laughs> Thank you, Tails. This is magical, huh? <laughs> the first visitors are coming. What? <laughs> ah, Goddess Amy's universe. Day one. We made it. <laughs> 99, you know what to do. <laughs> At once, Nozzle. All units surround Classic Amy and Classic Tails until they can go no further. Then, leave them to me. What if we have anything to say about it, Nazo? Huh? She found out? Impossible! <laughs> For a Nazo variant that has all the data in the world about me and my universe, you think you would have thinking more clearly. The one thing you should never do is underestimate an angry goddess. You want to take over my universe? Nazo, you're not the first who's tried. Come on, then. Come at me. I'm sorry. Uh, who are you? You're me? What, 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 I just started my universe. What's going on? Well, hi, me from the past. I'm you. And I'm here to save my universe from him. Trust me, I'll make sure that you don't remember this, because of time travel stuff. <laughs> Though, I have met you in your future, when you're a bit older, but... Yeah, try... try... try to just pretend that this isn't happening. I don't know if that'll work on you, but... Yeah, I'm you. You'll become a goddess in the future. Keep going, you're doing great. Now, as for you... <laughs> oh, I very much welcome this, Goddess Amy. I love a challenge. But as you can see, I'm not working alone this time. As you can see, I have a partner in crime. His name is Android99. I saw potential in him, reprogrammed him a little bit, and made him the ultimate shadow android. So... I'm going to just step back and let you tackle him first. <laughs> hmm, that is a little strange, but I'll allow it. Alright then, 99, step up to the plate. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend will protect the younger you and younger tails. Go show them that you are not to be messed with, Goddess Amy. I have faith in you. But if you need me or my girlfriend's assistance, just shout. Thanks, Ashura. We'll see what this ultimate shadow android can do. So, a shadow android that admits he's a shadow android. Hmm, wouldn't be the first since we reprogrammed a friend of mine. But, I want to see what you're capable of. 
I promise you, no super forms, no tricks, no nothing. Just me, my hammer against you. So, 99, was it? Show me what you've got! Shields activating. <clears throat> All that power. <laughs> All that expectations. Recording files. Maximum power. Yeah. Yeah. Typical Android behavior so far. Come on, 99. Come on. Maximum shield efficiency. <clears throat> this is futile, Goddess Amy. Your words of pressure will not affect my performance. I am Android 99, the ultimate android. And this universe is ours. <clears throat> <laughs> ours, huh? Well, where's that power that you so claim that you have? Did Nazo just reprogram you and nothing else? Come on, show me that you're worth something! Maximum efficiency! <clears throat> Fine, you want me to prove yourself? I guess you are a true warrior that wants a battle with full efficiency. Very well, activating gadgets. What? Woo! Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, standard issue machine gun. Nozzo, are you for real? Okay. I programmed you to be the best android. Unleash that power that I gave you, 99. Weapon deactivated. Power efficiency, 90. Activating final weapon. I think this android needs a few more tweaks. Round one, AB one, ninety nine, zero. <laughs> okay, you win this round, Goddess Amy. But can you catch me in the next time period? <laughs> hmm, I'll give Nozzle this. Nothing like a little sparring match. <laughs> Nozzle working with a stolen shadow android? I did not expect that. But hey, at least I came prepared. Right. Whew, I'm ready to go again. <laughs> now, I must be serious. Nazo could theoretically destroy my universe. I have to be serious. I was serious throughout that, wasn't I? I mean, I may have done a few jokes at the android, but, you know. <laughs> right, where to next, Ashura? We need to catch him. Hmm. Honestly, I think those jokes were necessary. This Nozzle thinks a shadow android could beat you? All he probably did was reprogram it and have it think it was the ultimate android. But what I witnessed there was just the standard issue stuff that Eggman put on these androids. They don't have the ability to transform into super or, or whatever. So honestly, you aren't in the wrong there, Goddess Amy. You showed Nozzle that you are not to be messed with. And he has just landed, still in the classic timeline. Back when you were celebrating Metal 3.0 and um, Sonic's sister coming onto the channel, you had a party for it. Come on, let's head there now. <laughs> Thanks, Ashura. You're the best. And classic me, please don't worry about any of this. Your past is secure. Trust me. Chaos control. 